Hello everyone, Michael Jacobs. Welcome to the 2023 golf season. We're going to start with our first video of the year, our first show, and it's going to be really interesting. We're going to use something called the Kinetic Simulator. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go in and manually put forces and torques on a golf club and we're going to see the results. And we're going to try to simulate it just like a golf swing so you can learn something interesting here. So let's start with our first simulation and I'll let it run. And then I'll explain to you what you're seeing here. Okay. So what you have in our simulator are two links. So this is basically like a double link type action uh, that you've seen in old time golf research and things of that nature. And what you're looking at here is a red rod, so a red body. Now, this is the length of my arms. So what I did was I created the length and the weight of my arms, and that's represented by this red rod or stick. Next, I placed the center of mass right in the middle of that. So I'm trying to get as close as we can to simulating what my arms would be like. Uh, granted that I'd be twisting my body to move the arms, so the arms are our first link. Next, in the second link, which is the black link, is something that's called the distal link. And this is exactly a golf club. So what it is, it's the exact length of my driver, the weight and mass of my driver, and the center of mass is located right where the center of mass of my driver would be. So you basically have my arms and my club, and then I, what I did was I am, we are driving this proximal link, the arm link, with a constant torque around. So watch, I'll play it again. And there's a constant torque being supplied at that spot, okay? And through the whole entire motion that you're watching here, that torque is constant. Next, since this is a free hinge right in between these two links, what we've done is we have set it up so that for the first portion of the movement, there is no torque at that distal link. So the only torque is right here. And then half a second into its motion, you'll notice this little light comes on that says distal torque on. And what happens then for the rest of the way is the constant torque that's here, link, and a torque at the black link will be constant from here on in. And what you basically get is something that looks close to a simulated golf so, swing. What did this tell us? Well, number one, we want to analyze the angular velocity of the links. So what's meant by that is we're looking at how the links change angle over time. And the rate of that tells us the velocity. So when we're looking, you can see early on, if you follow the slope of the proximal, the red, and I'll, and I'll play it again, if you, if you follow this slope, you'll notice that we had a torque that actuated right away and we had an angular velocity increase and in acceleration of that proximal link right away. And you can see that that is a steady torque rising and creating a steady velocity increase until there is an interaction force with the distal link when it moves out and therefore even though I am applying a constant torque at that proximal link you'll notice that there is an angular slowdown a considerable one well mo well more than a 50% slowdown angularly here in the proximal link yet we were still driving that link with positive torque the whole time. When you look at the angular velocity of the distal link, the golf club, you'll notice that it was negative at first. So when we go back and we watch the simulation in a second, you're gonna notice that because the proximal link went first, the distal one went the other way, had a little negative velocity, until it started to catch up with the proximal link and then we turned a torque on there and you can see that things started to change 
right around this area as the distal link continues its angular velocity increase, but there was a definite energy transfer between the two. So let's watch the simulation again. So you can see early on, there's that torque at the proximal link. The distal link of the club has, is rotating the other way. So its angular velocity was negative early on. And then you can see it's being pulled along a little bit by the proximal link. Now we turn the distal torque on and eventually it starts to catch up. And then as it swings out, there is a very interesting interaction force right here between that distal and proximal link.